Yeah. <gasps> we lost John. We lost John. One question that just came in is, why is there no sex in heaven when sex is so great? That's a wonderful question. Okay, this is no longer a kid's show. Um, uh, the other question is, does heaven and hell start right when you die? Ooh. Ooh. Man. Ooh. So, very, very briefly, do we have any way of even answering the first one? I don't think we do. I okay. can't. I can't imagine how we would be, even be able to answer that yeah, question. Can't answer that one. Um, unless, unless we just, you know, just sort of, sort of honing in on the same. Um, I mean, if we're if we're running on the assumption that it doesn't, mm -hmm. and we just say, um, you know, like with so many other things, that the whatever heaven is that all the great thing that the, the nature of our relationship with Jesus in heaven, that all the, all the great, you know, relational enjoyment pieces here are just sort of a fuzzy reflection of that. Yeah. Then, um, you know, uh, 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 maybe whatever heaven is, will be so incredible that yeah. all, all the nice all the all the great relationship stuff here we look yeah. back and go oh that was well not it's not this yeah um but i don't know that's a that's a i don't know i don't know what was the second question does um does heaven or hell start right when you die Ooh. good one okay uh you did the research <laughs> You know the mean, research. My favorite answer to that is what Jesus says to the robber on the cross. Yeah. When Jesus is dying on the cross and the guy next to him is crying out to him, who's also dying on the cross. And then Jesus says, today you'll be with me in paradise. Like that's, uh, I think that it starts right away maybe, or like that parable of the, the rich ruler I talked about who was in, in hell and was engaging in real time. The thing I've wondered about, though, is if a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years is like a day in God's world, because God's outside of time. When Jesus says, today you will be with me in paradise. Hold on a second. Look who just came back. Hi, Jen. Hey, I'm back. Hi, we missed you. So the question that was asked is, does heaven or hell start right when you die? And so I'm saying that when Jesus spoke to the thief who was hanging on the cross and said, today you'll be with me in paradise, was today meaning what we think of as, you know, in that hour, or was today meaning in God's mind, time is irrelevant, you know? Well, last time I died, I was there right away. Wow. Touche. Touche. Is that how helpful is that? This was one of the questions that um, uh, one of the questions that we had to um, when we did our uh, when we did our PhD. There we had we took a class. The very first semester was it was sort of the weed out class. We had to read um, eighteen books mm. for that class. Um, and it was, it just, it just was rough, but it was a, the it was a theology class or theology. Yeah, it was a theology course. And one of the questions was the question of soul sleep, which is, uh, which refers to sort of the idea that we die and then we just sort of sleep for a little while. And then we wake up at the at the, at the, at the second coming versus the idea of exactly what we just said, which is, you know, uh, we all, you know, we all go be with Jesus as soon as we die. Um, and it was so interesting to watch, to read books and watch people get super deep and super dogmatic about something that just as, as, just as John says, the reality is we just don't know. We just don't know. There are a few things that the scriptures say that we can sort of hang our hat on. Yeah. But there's so many, th so many questions that we want to ask that the Bible just doesn't ask. 
And because it doesn't ask, it's hard to take the answers given and try to answer a question that isn't asked. However, the conclusion that our class came to that we can con you know, conclusively put, hang our hat in is whatever that looks like, we are with Jesus. Whether we're in heaven, whether we are in, you know, there's some, there's some, um, there's some scholars that think that when Jesus said, uh, you'll be with me today in paradise, that paradise is referencing something that isn't heaven, but right. sort of something else. Um, you know, the, 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 um, uh, the, um, the idea of, of, of purgatory, which is a totally different conversation, but, um, you know, all of that discussion, yep. I, I would say that we can, can you know, as, as conclusively as, as, as anything, say, when we die, if we belong to Jesus, we're with Jesus. What that looks like, where that is, no idea. Um, okay. But I, I, I think we can say we are with, you know, um, uh, Don Otto passed away uh, last week. Um, I think we can say Don's with Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I don't know. What do you think, John? Uh, is it, uh, I'm trying to think, Paul somewhere talks about, uh, you know, to close close your eyes in this life is to mm. open your eyes. You know. Yeah. But there again, yeah. you know, I, I think like the Jewish idea of Sheol was probably a little closer to what you were just talking about. Some people would call soul sleep, whatever. I, you know, yep. um, not necessarily another place called heaven. Um, but there's definitely, there is a theme there. I'm, you know, Jesus told the thief on the cross, you will be with me in paradise. What, you know, whatever you want to call it, you know, Paul also says, so, I mean, the security there is if you belong to Jesus, you're with Jesus, whatever that looks like, wherever, whenever that is, because, you know, there's another sort of idea that when you die, you're out of the timeline. So time doesn't really matter. You're just right. jump into some extra temporal realm. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love so, that. Yeah, and I, th I think that's, that's sort of the message there, right? I mean, whether or not we understand how it all works or not. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The king of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Amen is for you um some of us may have a you know shock when we see how it all works but uh, yep yeah i mean this seems especially relevant when every single day on the news they post how many more people died today around the world like this is a very pertinent question so we can make light of this but there is very possible there's someone watching this today where you lost someone. And so we just want to hit the pause button in our snarkiness and just say, you know, when you're grieving, you are allowed to feel all the feels and you are allowed to be so mad that the person was taken from you or you are allowed to think that they're in heaven right now or that they are closing their eyes and they'll wake up and they'll see you in heaven with them, right? Like there's the, there's the theology, like the head knowledge, and then there's the heart piece, which is that Jesus just says, when you have a relationship with Jesus, you will never die. Your body will, because your body's broken, but death is not the end game. It's not like something to be afraid of or something. There's so many questions that come up as a, you know, as a, as a, pastor, teacher, professor, whatever, that are questions that scripture just doesn't directly um, answer, at least not in all the possible variations of ways to ask the question. Questions like, what about the guy who lives, grows up, lives and dies, having never heard the name of Jesus? What happens to him? Uh, what happens to my child who dies in, in infancy? There's so many, so many variations right. on ways to think about that, that the truth is the scriptures just don't directly answer that question. And so it's really hard. Um, even, you know, even some of them that the scriptures do seem to 
it's hard to piece everything together. The best pastoral foundational response that I've ever come across was a, a was a pastor of mine um, uh, uh, previously who, who who would just say, um, "Jesus, everyone that you love, Jesus loves so much more than you love them." And so your child, your grandmother, your friend, however much you care about them, Jesus cares about them infinitely more than you do. And so you can trust, you can trust Jesus with the people that you love. Now, you know, that, I want to say that only goes so far. Like, that doesn't mean that Jesus deals with everyone that you love in the way that you would deal with them. Um, I mean, there's all kinds of places to go to that. But for me, it's always helped when thinking about the really tough questions to acknowledge everyone that I, my children, who I would die for, mm -hmm. at least I think I would. I've never been in that situation, so I don't actually know if I would or not. But I think I would. However much I love my kids, Jesus loves my kids so much more than I love them. Mm -hmm. And so I can trust Jesus with my kids. Um, that's always that's always been helpful to me in the really complicated questions. Um, yeah, I mean, if God told us all the answers, then that would mean that we are also God, right? Like yeah. he, we get to be, it's like what I say to kids, you get to be a kid and you, I get to be the grown up, And that means your life is so much easier than mine. Like yeah. I, I want him to be in charge of those things because I wouldn't, have the capacity not only to understand but to navigate it well um, I've got one more question that came in um, the question that came in was is there bacon in heaven oh my goodness gracious mm. I wish there was bacon right now. <laughs> I, I guess we have to solve the are there animals in heaven <laughs> well so that's the question could there be something like a bacon tree could there be a bacon tree no, could there be a no. bacon fountain? I'm serious. No. Like, could we just have a fountain of bacon? Fountain of bacon. Yeah. Well, I think uh, uh, isn't Burger King trying to do that with their Impossible Whopper? <laughs> it's just not the same. It's <laughs> oh. oh. You know, they do make vegan bacon now. Do they really? Is it the same? I mean, even turkey bacon. Mm. It's not the it's same. Not the same. So I'm going to say that there's going to have to be bacon. Um, I mean, when Jesus says that there will be a feast of all, I mean, it's oh. going to be the banquet that ends all banquets, right? Mm. Like, yeah. why would there not be bacon? At so bacon? what you're saying is there's a feast and everything's made of bacon. Is that what you're saying? That is At least bacon wrapped. Oh, bacon wrapped. <laughs> yeah. I used to have a bowl. I used to have a machine used to have a little machine that would make a bowl made of bacon. Ooh. But my wife threw it away. Um, for your safety. And for all, I'm, I'm sure for all kinds of reasons. All kinds of reasons. 